Hello, this is Ryan from Access Analog. In this video, we're going to do a walkthrough of the Analog Matrix plugin to help you get started. Let's begin. So the first thing you're going to need to do is enter your email that you used when you created your reservation and enter your password that was given to you in the confirmation email you received when you created your account. If you haven't made a reservation, you can reserve the Lynx loopback cables the Daking FET3 or the Warm Audio EQPWA anytime for free. So that's a great place to get started so you can work on managing the streaming and explore the plugin before you schedule your paid reservations. So once you've entered your email and password, you can select which rack you're going to connect to. Currently we have our servers in Colorado and we have an upcoming Nashville server that'll be coming online and you'll be able to choose from the drop down menu here with many more racks, aka servers, coming in the future. So you've selected your server, you've entered your email and password, and you hit the connect button, and immediately you'll see a graph here representing the audio stream. So it's good to be aware that the analog matrix is streaming audio in both directions. So it's going out from your computer to the hardware and back to you continuously in real time. So this box will turn red if you have a dropout and will say underflow and that can indicate that the connection uh, maybe is experiencing some interruptions and you'll be warned when this box turns red and you can hit the clear button to bring it back to the normal state and if the connection's being odd or you're having any problems feel free to use the reset button often. This just simply restarts the connection and makes sure that everything is synced up and working properly. So reset the connection as often as you need to. It's great to keep the stream healthy and the analog matrix plugin running properly. Next, let's take a look at the buffer. This is the amount of time that the analog matrix plugin utilizes to transmit the audio out to the hardware and back to you. And depending on your connection speed, you can lower this to whatever is most comfortable for you in your connection speed. I typically will leave it at a large buffer and start with compressed audio. And so this transmit format drop down menu allows you to choose from compressed audio if you have maybe a little bit of a more challenged connection all the way up to lossless. 24 bit 96k audio and again that's dependent on your internet speed and once you've got your buffer decided and your transmit decided let's go ahead and take a look over here on the left hand side at our rack so the rack is going to show all of the equipment to the left side above the piece of equipment it shows the name of, and to the right it shows the status so available means it's available to be reserved now. You can actually click on a device and it'll take you straight to our reservation page and you can go ahead and reserve it. Or uh, this may be listed as unavailable, which means that someone else is currently using it. And if you've made it reserved, it will be green and say reserved, which means reserved by you. Um, the other possibility is that if you have another instance of the plugin, you might have a device occupied by another instance of a plugin, in which case the status will show here as unavailable. So to use a piece of equipment, you're going to drag it into this routing panel. This routing panel allows you to load up to five different devices. And you just drag it right in to the part that lights up once you're holding a piece of equipment. Note that you can drop it in here, but you cannot drop it into this middle part. So you're gonna drop it into the routing panel and you'll see the piece of equipment become present in the main area. And you have your timer that's going to notify you the length of your reservation and how much time you have left. And to the right of that, you have your presets where you can choose from any of our standard presets. You could also create your own by hitting the plus button, naming it, and hitting save or uh, enter. Another thing to be aware of is 
if I hit play inside of my DAW at the moment, then audio will begin to transmit and you'll see the meters showing the audio transmitting. Now we have cameras tracking the equipment meters, so that's how those are moving. And then this far left meter is showing the audio going from the output of the Lynx converters to the hardware and the top two bars will turn red to indicate any kind of clipping. And that's what this gain slider will adjust. And on the far right, this is the audio returning from the hardware to the Lynx converters. And again, you have another gain slider here. So your signal flows in the left and it goes from left to right for each device. Now, if you use multiple devices, you have gain adjustment here and a wet dry blend so that you can do some really creative parallel processing between each device. And again, these LED meters will turn red at the top to indicate any kind of clipping. And that is the basic functionality. So now you've got audio streaming, you're able to use the equipment, everything is synced in real time. And when you're ready to capture the audio, you can either route the output of the plugin to a new track, or you can use our offline processor. We have a separate video explaining that, but just briefly, the offline processor isn't necessary while you're working in general. It's there to help you capture audio when you've got all your desired settings. So you can either hit the arm button and then hit play and the audio will be uploaded and then you'll hit process. Then it will be run through the equipment and then you'll hit save and you download that file. The other option is to directly load a file by clicking on the load button, locate the file in your file directory. It will be uploaded to the server, run through the equipment, and then you can hit save and download it. And the last option we offer is batch processing, which will allow you to select a group of tracks, and those will be automatically uploaded, run through the equipment, and downloaded to you. And that's the analog matrix. Feel free to ask us any questions. We're available at support at accessanalog.com, and enjoy the analog processing.